than one lap remaining. The bell lap. Here it comes, half a lap for a trip to the Olympics for Lana Gehry. Does she hold off Corman? Corman on the inside to the line. It is Gehring. Gehring by 11 one hundredths. Corman made a great push right at the line. And Apollo, again, we get down to short track. It is the blade crossing the finish line that determines. Great race by Jessica Corman. They may have been a penalty at some point. Let's take a look at this one more time. Here we go. Jessica Corman trying to make it by in the last lap here on the inside as they shoot their skates across the line and just barely. And think of that checkered zone like the it's like the end zone in football. It's the front line that dictates. And it's the very tip of the blade versus the collarbone or the neck like track and field. And these athletes, these ladies are so tired and fatigued, just throwing themselves wow. across the line in one shot. So, so now the question is, because there was some maneuvering in short track, you like to call it racing, but there is some review going on. If the result holds, it is Lana Gehring on the Olympic team. And again, just this is just like football. It's the tip of the blade crossing the first line. And it looks like Lana did cross the line first. Great race by her. These two ladies fighting it out to squeeze out. And unofficially so far, Lana Gehring. And so it is Lana Gehring. It, it is official. She is the winner, and she is on the Olympic team. They're penalizing Jessica Cormitt for kicking out. Explain that at the finish line.